So yesterday we dropped our daughter off at college, University of Kentucky. Randy and I are officially empty nesters. <sighs> Look how sweet y'all are being, just laying there. The beaker and her cookie cake. Oh, cutting. Dad's cutting it. What piece you want? Um, I just want gum. Like, do you want this, or do you want the U, or do you want the K? <laughs> Maybe like a, a little bit of the K, or. So you want ice? Is what I'm getting. Actually, let's do like a here and like part of the top of the U. Oh my god. <laughs> Like a good amount of icing, but not a lot of icing. Oh my, Jesus, that is a big piece, holy God. That, yeah, that's like a half a cake. Yeah. Cut, a quarter cut, of the cake, jeez. <laughs> you are you not know she to go, give me all that. You know she'll go back and get more, so she might as well get it. Oh, 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 oh that's a bad sign right there. <laughs> Are y'all gonna get cookie cake? So Lexington is four hours away from where we live in Paducah. So we got up at 4 a.m., everybody got dressed, we had packed the car the night before, and we left out of our house at 5.30 a.m. Where'd that bee girl go? Go see the bee girl! Come here. Bye, buddy! Oh, oh Max, where's your bee girl going? Alex! Okay, I'll come to you. Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Bye, buddy! Oh, he doesn't know what to do. Oh, oh God. He need a final booty scrap, B. Okay. Bye, buddy. I'll see you on Thanksgiving. Give her kisses, Pollux. All right. Kiss for Maxie. Kiss for the Mooey. <laughs> Pop your trunk. I don't know that I can see. Okay, get in the get in the pick, Dad. Just get in it. Okay, leaving for you, Kay. Drove four hours to Lexington. UK had their business together, let me say. They had it so organized. The move-in process was so simple, so structured. We were cars unloaded, everything in her room in no time. But then it took us a long time, a lot of hours to get her room set up, everything unpacked, and Brecken really did a good job decorating her room. She mainly did it by herself. She just took her time, 
and found all of these things that she wanted and needed. But at UK, they rebuilt every single one of their dorms uh, within the past four years. Their dorm rooms are beautiful. And I'm talking granite countertops in the kitchen, granite countertops in the bathroom. She is in a two bedroom suite with one of her best friends from Paducah. Her name is Lily. So they each have a private bedroom. They share a bathroom together and then they have like a kitchenette area and a kitchen eating area. And what is so cool about Brecken going to UK is her two other best friends are right down the hall. So she knows so many people already. So we got moved in, got everything unboxed. So do I need pictures horizontally? If you want me to use them. Show us videos. What? Uh, I need data, that's cable. We got everything set up, like all the electronics, all the cords, all the command strips. Like there is so much because you cannot nail anything in the wall. There's just a lot to do. But her roommate, Lily, got there several hours after we did. They had staggered the move-in times. So when she got there, we said, hey, and then we went out to Target. I made a list of things that we needed, forgot, didn't know we needed, um, but we went to Target and y'all, it was crazy. The shelves were completely wiped out. We were not able to get a single thing on our list. But anyway, we went to Target. Then we needed groceries. We went to Trader Joe's. We went to Kroger. Just got a bunch of groceries and snacks and turns out that the refrigerator and freezer combo, which has a microwave, which is included in the dorm room, Y'all, we got there and we opened this thing up and you could barely put like a thing of milk in it. Her Brita water filter that we bought for her, like the pitcher of water with the filter in it, took up the entire refrigerator. There was no room for anything else. So at Target, we, we did buy a second refrigerator. It We got a a larger fridge, it sits, because they have such a huge kitchen area, the fridge sits on the countertop. So now they have two big fridges and an additional freezer and it's gonna be perfect. So all of the food that we bought for her, she has plenty of room, they can have extra stuff. And I know in fact today that she and Lily were gonna go out and get some more groceries. Oh, and we, Brecken's dorm is very near the, um, uh, very near the student center. So we walked over, we had lunch. Of course, we had to get new UK gear. So while I'm wearing my baseball tee, I got a sticker from our car, which I'm getting ready to go put on next to my SCAD sticker, which is where Kendall goes to school. Randy had to get a bunch of stuff. He got his new UK t-shirt, which he will wear every single sporting event. Oh, I guess he's already taken it out of the bag. We got my dad a UK sweatshirt, and Randy got one exactly like this, just a lighter color gray. We're all decked out in our new UK gear. We are all UK fans. You all know, I've told you in other videos, that I went to UK, so it's my alma mater. I'm an alum, so I'm so excited Brecken is there. But we had a great day. We got everything done. <sighs> It was just, it, it was not possible to film along the way and talk and, and shoot videos. It just wasn't. It There was so much to do. It was a family day. I did what I could do. So it's been a day, y'all. We have Brecken moved in, her dorm room at UK. We've been so busy, I have not been able to make a video, but that is what we've been doing. We left home at 5 a.m. We drove four hours to Lexington, 
big day, big, big day getting her moved in. Her roommate showed up about five o'clock, so we left so she could have the dorm to herself. We went to Target, Trader Joe's, Kroger, went and had dinner, and then now we're back at the dorm. We're gonna do some finishing touches. I'm gonna take some videos of her room. And then I have to say goodbye to my big girl. We're waiting on Randy. Can y'all see Randy? Where is he? This is taking this, He's trying to get a free parking pass for our car. Like, I don't know what's happening. But Brecken's room looks super, super cute. Lily, her roommate, her room is adorable. But they have their own bedroom. They share a bathroom. They have a kitchen. It's super cute. I'll show you when we get back to the room. You know as a YouTuber you do have to do like like close ups of like certain things? Oh no, I did not know. Like in your video you have like a video of back up in the room, but then <laughs> like there's not any jewelry on it. I know that's <laughs> Taking a tear. My sister would be like, What in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that asked like three times. Is there a meaning to it? No. <laughs> no, it's just a tiger and Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. Go Are you ready, Freddy? Are y'all staying tonight? No. Y'all are back. back. Yeah. Oh gosh. We left the house at five. Yeah. That's what she was saying. But Brecken wanted to unbox her own clothes and kind of do some of the last minute decorating on her own, which I get. She had a collage of pictures and some prints that she wanted to put on the wall. She kind of wanted to decorate her desk. And so she was going to do all that after we left yesterday. So we got everything set up. Then we went to dinner. And then it was time to say goodbye. I knew it was going to be tough. Come on. Kathy wants to see the, the room. Yeah. The final product. Well, yeah, it's my final. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, probably, actually. Yeah. It's not a picture. That's <laughs> funny. You think yeah. that. <laughs> just, just give me the picture. <laughs> but we left there about after we had dinner and we said our goodbyes it was about 9 30 and then randy and i had a four hour drive home we got home at 1 30 in the morning it was a long long day and I, i'm just gonna be honest i've been i've been weepy all day I'm going to try not to cry. Told myself I wasn't going to cry in the video. But today, today has been tough. I have been weepy. I have been weepy all day. So I thought it was fitting to talk to you all in Brecken's room because she would never let me show you all her room before. It was her private space. And it still is, although it's missing most of her things. But... She left Winnie. This is what got me. Brecken has had Winnie since she was six months old. And I walked up in her room this morning. And when I walked up to her room this morning, I saw Winnie was still here. And that got me. 
Winnie has gone everywhere with her. To every sleepover, to grandparents, to friends, to camp, to cheer camp, to 4-H camp. Winnie has gone on every vacation we have ever gone on. And when I came upstairs today and saw Winnie on the bed, I'll just keep Winnie. But I'll be okay. I just need some time to pass. Randy and I have so many things to do, things to look forward to. I'm just weepy today. Um, and I wanted to show you all her going to school, her last days at home. We filmed a video. We were packaging up <clears throat> all of the fan club t-shirts. And Brecken really did help me a lot over the, the course of a couple days. And that was her last day at home. That is what we did. But I wanted to share that with you all. I wanted to share her dorm move in, the fact that we are now empty nesters. It's a new chapter in our lives. It's a new chapter in her life, and I know she's going to have a ball. I know she's going to love UK. I know UK. We all love Kentucky, and she is going to have the best college years ever. I just know it. So, I miss you, B-girl. I love you. If you all are out there and you have kids leaving for college, whoo, let me just tell you, from my mother's point of view, it sucks. Both of my daughters are gone. They're away at school. I know I'll see them soon enough. Both of their schools are ending at Thanksgiving, so they'll be home, but that's a long, long three months from now. I'll survive. I did survive. I made it home in one piece. I'm just weepy. But Winnie and I have stuff to do today. We're just going to cry it out. <laughs> just Winnie and I and the dogs here, we're just going to cry it out. And then we'll, then we'll move on. So, I'll see you next time.